How are you today? Fine. Hello, hello, class. Where is the hello, teacher? Good evening, you. Teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. Okay, I'm How sorry. Good evening. I'm sorry, good evening. You good know, evening. cinco Very minutos nice. antes de empezar, mi compu se reinicia e inicia con actualizaciones automáticas. Imagine, I was in a rush, but I'm oh here. God. Finally, oh I'm God. here. So that's why I'm a little bit late today. I'm sorry for imagine. you. So, but no, this is okay. Friday. Welcome to a class on Friday. Imagine. Yes. Thank you so much for your effort. Okay. But, you know, we are going to take advantage of this one. Uh, okay, Marina, thank you so much for letting me. Ah. I need to see your camera on. Cameras on, please. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Zaira, Maria Lucila, Gerson, yeah, Jessica, yeah, Ana, Roxana, sí. Rebecca. Yeah. Tell me, Zaira. No, es que se me han perdido la llave. Fíjense que tengo problemas con mi cámara porque me veo bien borrosa. No sé si lo grabé. No, we cannot. Es we que cannot. como que no. está mal regular la configuración a este mal, a Zaira. Probablemente. Right? Exacto. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. De la cámara. Así. Esto yeah. tiene humedad dentro de la cámara también. Uh -huh. Ok. Now I can see you. Very good job. I can see you. I can see Jessica. Ah, Jessica. No la if you want, don't worry. Dejémosla así tal cual está encendida. Porque recordemos, estas grabaciones sí son auditadas por mm -hmm. InSupport y pueden eh, llamarnos la atención por ese detalle. Esa es la razón, ¿ok? Pero tratemos mm -hmm. de igual corregir eso para que podamos vernos y e interactuar en clase. That's it. So, here we go. Let's start with this class right now. Let me ask you, what day is it today? Today is? Today is Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday. Thirteenth. Huh? May. May, very good. Friday, thirteenth, May. Two thousand. Two thousand, I believe. Two thousand. Third. Two thousand. Third. Third. This is information that we were practicing in the first class. Primera clase, bien recuerdo. We were practicing about the special dates or how to give dates in English. So don't forget to practice. Remember that we are going to use all the vocabulary, and structures, and expressions in all the classes. Estamos de uniforme, teacher. Really? Let me see. <laughs> Excellent, because it's Friday. <laughs> a los the demás, twins. No, no le llegó el memorandum a los demás. Friday. Nothing white. Exactly. Hey, he's my twin. Very good job. Thank you. Very good job. Ya ven que César se está fijando siempre. Muy bien. Excellent. Yes. yes. Let's yes. take the attendance. Aleli. <laughs> Vamos a chequear la asistencia. Say present or here if you listen to your name. Vamos a ver quién está presente in this class. Here we go. Friday 13. Oh, imagine. Hoy es viernes 13. Viernes 13. Yes. Aleli Concepción. Oh, my God. Present teacher. <laughs> Ana Stephanie. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Ok. Erson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Great. Jessica Marielo. Present, teacher. Josué Neftalí. I'm here, teacher. Kimberly Janet. 
Present. María Lucila. Present, teacher. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nurian Karina. Pablo Reyes. Present, teacher. Rebeca Eunice. Present, teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Here. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. Present. So, this is it. Class, yesterday, I told you that we were going to conclude with section number three, right? So, what does it mean? That for today, we are going to have a very short review about the midterm exam so we can move up to section number four. Let me ask you, did you complete the activities from section number three? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Finished it. You finished. Yes. Totally. Yes. Very finished. Okay. Exactly. So how did lista, you feel? Alele hasta el cuarto módulo terminó ya. Yeah, of course, Alele. ¿Por qué no digamos? Claro que sí. Power femenino. <laughs> Excelente. 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 I like that response. Muy bien, Alele. Me encanta esa respuesta. Great job. We can do it, girls. How about Ay, boys? We can do it as well. También los chicos lo pueden hacer. So Cesar <laughs> said, we can do it as well. In this case, in the midterm exam, this is like a mixture or a combination of the previous exercises from section one, two, and three. So I need to make sure that you understood and that you don't have questions about these topics because the purpose of the platform and the purpose of these classes is for you to make sure que ustedes puedan cumplir el objetivo. Ese es el propósito. That if I tell you that you are going to be able to do something at the end of the class, I need you to be able to do it. Que si el objetivo de la clase es que ustedes sean capaces de hacer algo al final de la clase, que sepamos hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque si quedan dudas, si yo no los expresar, de nada, no sirve movernos al siguiente nivel con dudas. No, that is not the purpose. So please, ask your classmates if you have questions or ask the teacher mainly if you have questions. So let me ask you again. How was this listening exercise? Was it easy, difficult to complete the information or to get the information in this case? How did you feel this exercise? Easy or difficult? The listening part from the midterm exam. How was it? Easy, difficult? Medium. Okay. Yeah, right. How many times did you play the, the audio? Three times. Two times. Just one time, teacher. How many times? ¿Cuántas veces le dieron clic ahí el audio que tenemos? Le dieron reproducir el audio. Teacher, Once. yo tuve problema, incluso no lo pude abrir ni, ni, ni con el celular ni en la plataforma. Tuve que irme a, a la otra, a la sección que usted entró ayer para poder escuchar el audio porque no se escuchaba. Ok, so, cuando tenemos problemas con plataforma, chicos, no dejen de reportarlo. ¿Por qué? Porque en ese caso reporto y arreglan el problema. 
si no, no nos damos cuenta si a ustedes les funciona o no, ¿ok? So, please, Tuve que entrar a esa parte que usted está entrando ahorita para escuchar el audio, luego lo reduje y entonces ya pude escucharlo y de una vez fui respondiendo las preguntas. Muy bien, so, that's ok, that's acceptable. So, listening part, nobody, nadie me dice que tuvo problemas, that's ok, great, how about the next part of the midterm exam? This is the first part, listening. Sí, sí es que da problemas. A veces cuando uno lo está reproduciendo y lo quiere yeah. pausar, ya no, ya no le sigue reproduciendo. Cuando lo, lo quiere volver a, a, a darle play, uh -huh. este, ya, no le, ya no le reproduce. Ah, ok. So, interesting. Qué bueno que me digan eso para poder reportarlo. Then we have a matching exercise. Match. The questions with the answers. So I guess this is easier because you already have the answer. So let's do the first one. Solo hagamos el primero. Vamos a ver. Are we going to work this weekend? Mm, aquí hay un error, mira. Are we going to work this weekend? O es singular o es plural. Bueno, ya vamos a reportar esto. Are you going to work this weekend? And we have so many options right here. Yes, I am going to go swimming. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, we're not. We're going to relax. And letter D, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Letter E, yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. Or letter F, what is the correct response for this question class? A, B, C, D, E, or F. Which ones? C. Of course, that's okay. Why? Deme una respuesta lógica, porque es la letra C. Porque sí, teacher. No. Porque probé las demás opciones y no me salió bien. No, right? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? The question is, are we going? Mm -hmm. The answer C said, no, we're not, we. That's it, excellent job. Así como Walter está seguro de su respuesta. If my question, mm -hmm. it starts or includes we, what am I expecting for the response? The same to have the subject we. Si se fijan, no hay ninguna otra que lleve el sujeto we. Así de simple podemos nosotros identificar respuesta. Are we going to work this weekend? No, we are not. So that's it. So that is my goal. Esa es mi meta, que ustedes sepan justificar por qué es la respuesta correcta y por qué no las demás o porque las demás son incorrectas. That is my goal. Please, I need you to make sure about your responses. Si no se saben dar una explicación lógica de gramática o de cualquier contenido, tratemos de hacerlo siempre. Try to. Okay. Then we have WH questions. WH questions are how, where, what, who and when, you know? So the same, we need to complete this conversation using the WH questions. Take a look at the first example. Solo vamos a hacer el primero, number one. It says, next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. So what is the context about next summer? Ahí We're tendría que hacer una pregunta. Exactly. Where are you going to go? Where are? Where are? Where are? Where are you going to go next summer? So, the second La segunda. But why? Let me ask you the same question. Why? Give me a reason why this is the correct response. Where are you going to go next summer? Esa es la... Because the second question say next summer. So 
the first question in Chloe next summer too. Mm -hmm. And Where are you going to go next summer? And mm -hmm. the answer is going to Alaska is the place. So the first question say say the word where. Okay, I like re your response. That's okay. And also let me okay. Uh, because if you see we are asking about a place. We are asking about a place, Alaska. Uh, so in this case, the only WH question that we can use to ask about where. places is where. That's it. So that is my response. Very good. How about this exercise? The same type of item, mismo tipo de item. We are going to complete the conversation in this case about the common health problems. If you see, we have three different options that these three words are verbs. So if you notice, house, 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 I have a habit. Ah, but yes. we have a yo mistake. tengo, yo tengo. And this is a mistake. Aquí hay un error. No puede ser pregunta. This yeah. is an affirmative. That I have sí, pues. a headache. Exactly. So then we. Y está primero la, el I. Exactly. So yes. the question is, do I have a headache? Pero como no es mm -hmm. afirmativa. I have a headache. So let's continue. Let her be. Está mal puesto al signo de interrogación. Yes. yes. We don't need. We don't need the question mark in this case. Yes. En la plataforma no me sale mi teacher. Really? Esa es una interrogación. Como no se si está. Wow. Well, es que los errores que me están saliendo, bueno, yo no me salieron. Really? Yo okay. he encontrado otros errores en la plataforma, por Están ejemplo, en otros, en el ejercicio. Pero eso no me ha salido. Mm -hmm. Yes, Walter. En el ejercicio 3.2, places and things. Things. Uh -huh. Hay una mamá que dice que necesita galletas para postre. Uh -huh. Cookies for dessert. For dessert. Yes. Dessert son galletas para postre. Exactly. Con doble S. Uh -huh. Pero en la plataforma está escrito con una S. Dessert, que es desierto. Yes. Es cierto, so, es cierto. Es lo que dice Walter. Yo la vi y dije, me so, parece que se han equivocado. Pero aún así la contesté. Please, I need you to, yeah. okay, let, let me tell you why. ¿Por qué le digo esto? In my case, yo puedo tener varios módulos, diferentes alumnos. And it is hard for me to identify those mistakes. So, please, help us to correct those mistakes, okay? Si ustedes dudan y saben que es error, ¿qué hago? ¿Puedo tomar una captura de pantalla? Hay una opción que se llama herramienta de recorte. Eso sirve muchísimo. Se toma acá exactamente la captura de pantalla y la envía al chat, chat grupal que estamos todos. Reporten cualquier cosa. Please, si saben que es error gramatical, reportemos. No lo tomemos como algo que no se pueda corregir. We can correct that. Okay? Or people from the academy, they can correct that. Okay? And the last exercise is about a reading text. What were you going to do? To take some information from the, from the reading. And then you were going to pick the correct response. So questions about the midterm exam. Yes, no, or are the topics include in the midterm exam clear? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So, can we move on to section number four? Yes, right? Bien, si surgen preguntas, hágamela, no dudemos. What is the objective for section number four 
in this case, the first activity that we are going to have, it's about vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. I really like this exercise. We are going to express ourselves about things that we don't like to do or that we hate to do. Let's listen, this is a very short video. So then we are going to practice, okay? Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So here we go. Things that people hate to do. What do you Things hate to do? Things that people hate to do. Here we go. Look. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Okay, number one, people hate to. Que la gente odia hacer. Hate to do. Estar en line. Number two. Number two. What is that? Do Extra the laundry. The laundry. Do laundry. laundry. Number three. <laughs> the travel to work. Travel to work. Number four. Go to the meetings. Go to meetings. Yes. Number five. Exercise. Exercise. Number six. Working in the Work yard. Working in the yard, number seven. Clean, Clean the house. house. Clean the house, and number eight. Open the mail. Open the mail. mail. Open the mail. 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 But open we the don't mail. open mail. the mail. Let's mail. face this mail. one. No. We don't it's check the mail, or we don't open the mail anymore. So mail. let's say it in a different way. Maybe. Check email because we don't use this mail anymore. So check email. So tell me about you. Top eight. Top eight. So from one to eight, give me your number one and your number eight as the one that you hate the most. Como el número uno, el que menos the disgust hacer y como número ocho el que no soportan hacer in my case if you were asking me about my number one the things that I don't like to do is this one I hate to do the laundry it's so hard you know it's so hard and I also hate to clean the house. I don't know why, but after that you finish cleaning the house, you know, the next hour when you see, you have a big mess again. So it is very hard for me to be cleaning and keeping things in order in my house. So how about you, class? ¿Cuál les cuesta más hacer? What no le gusta? Tell me. Miss? Yes. How can I say um, lavar, pero lo, no la ropa, sino que los trastes, los platos y todo eso? Okay. Any idea? I can start it. Yes. Stand in line. No. Do the dishes. Do the dishes, exactly. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Hacer fila. Stand in line. Thank you. 
stand in the line. You don't like to stand in the, in the line? For example, when you go to the bank, you need to be standing in, bank, in the line. Place. Yes, right? Stand in line. It's very hard sometimes. When you go to the supermarket and it's very crowded, full of people, you need to be standing in line to pay. Oh, yes. It's very hard to stand in line. So how do we express these ideas? We are going to make some questions. Well, no questions. Sentences to express the idea. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Okay. Three, travel to work. Travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Okay. Eight, open the mail. Or check the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. Okay, here for we example, go. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. Okay, so look at the examples. I have to do the laundry every weekend. I hate it. Go to the board. So give me your examples. Veamos sus ejemplos. I have to... And then we say, I hate it. Let's use this structure. Mm -hmm. Example, I have to uh, the travel to work. Okay. And then, I hate ah. it. No me gusta, oh, me gusta, I hate it. Okay, give me more examples. I have two. I hate it. Let me see. Walter, give me your example, please. Example. I have to do to work. Yes, Walter. Sorry? No, your example, please. Of the chart or any other? You can include some others. That's okay. Okay. I want to be honest. Honest. I'm very impatient. Okay. So I hate I really, really hate having to wait. Okay. So I, I, I to wait for people. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Or waiting for right. people. So I hate, yes, in punctuality, right? Or I hate it. I have it, no, I hate it. Great response. I have to wait for people. I hate it. That's Teacher. Um, yes. One call said, I like not light um, the stamp on the line. Yes, of course. I don't like to stand in line. Stand in line. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Line. There are many ways to express these ideas. That's okay. If you okay. go to the example. It's correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Look Thank at you. the second example. I don't have. Or I don't like. That's okay. We can use the same structure with have and don't. So, class, let's go. We are going to work in groups. Just five minutes so you can complete this exercise. Tell your classmates about what things you don't like to do. Yes, Nelson. Uh, teacher, how do you say esperando en el tráfico in English? Um, esperando o estar en tráfico. 
You yes, can start in traffic. Like this one. Certamente to be stuck. Be stuck in traffic. Como estar en medio de mucho tráfico. Stuck. Be a stuck Same. in traffic. You're welcome. So you don't like that. To be a stuck in traffic. Interesting. Interesting. So yes, I guess most of the people, they lose their patience whenever they need to wait for any reason. We don't like waiting, you know? We really want things to be done in a faster way. So that's it. Let's go, we're going to work in pairs right now. So you can tell your classmates about what are the things you like. No, well, in this case, hate. We are just going to talk about hate, things that you hate to do. So I'm going to send you this information right now. Just give me a second. Is the activity clear? Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes, yes. indeed. So? Yes. If you heard, he's always motivating us to share the sentences in the discussion forum. Siempre nos motiva a que compartamos nuestras respuestas en el foro de discusión. So, please, try to do it, okay? Write your responses. So here we go. Take a look at the structure that we are going to use in WhatsApp. Check the picture. Okay. Aquí vamos. Check the picture right now. Five minutes to complete this exercise. This is a speaking practice and written practice as well. Write your classmates and your responses in your notebook. Here we go. Okay. Go, please. Very good. Okay, thank you, Walter. Very good. I'm just missing Kimberly, Iris, Roxana, and Elvis. ¿Qué dijo ayer que íbamos a hacer oraciones? Yes, an example in WhatsApp eh, is este, lo que acabamos de lo que acaba de explicar ella. Eh, puedes ver el WhatsApp. Bueno. Hi, teacher. Se fue. <laughs> Se fue. Creo que su interés está fallando. Let me see. So, let's do something, Sonia. Vamos a unirlas a las dos en otro grupo por si ella se desconecta. Okay. Okay, let's go to room number one. Vámonos. Okay. 
Entonces, digo, yo odio eso. Yes. Ajá, yo había puesto, I have the watching a lot since for some, que significa odio esperar mucho tiempo por alguien. Uh -huh. Entonces, I have to. I love skin for, no sé cómo pronuncia, someones. Algo así se escribe, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Someone. Someone. Algo así, someone. 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 Ajá. Pero, pero la oración creo que la tienen que poner eh, utilizando el formato de I have to. Decirla lo, lo que tiene que hacer y luego el I hate it. Ajá. Entonces está tratando de decirte, ¿cómo, cómo fue que dijo? Odio esperar mucho tiempo a alguien. Entonces I hate. Hi, Josué. Hola, send you to. La sala 1, no aparece la invitación a la sala 1. Yes, no. Go to room number 1. Ok. Yo ahorita tengo cinco. Te he una pregunta. Eh, Los ejemplos solamente eran con I have to y I had it, o también con I don't. Have. You can use don't as well. That's okay. Don't worry. Both structures are correct. Ah, ok. María. Pero para usar I don't have, tenía un sí. ejemplo, por ejemplo, I don't have to exercise in the park. No, not really. Look at the example. It says oh, I don't. En la plataforma decía, aquí está. Or I don't like. I don't like. We can use the expression like. I don't like exercising at the park. I hate it. You better use that one, like. Okay. In, in, uh, usted se usa like en vez de have. Mm, exactly. Very good. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, Irma eh, tuvo problemas, me imagino, con el internet. Sí, me, eh, me saca de, del Zoom, no sé si yeah, es right. mi, mi señal que está fallando. Yes, I guess it's the internet connection. Yes, but don't worry, we are going to work here right now. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, don't worry, Irma. Here we go. Class, I want to listen to your examples right okay. now. At least five participants. Try to give me your examples, okay? Using hate it, okay? So let me listen to you. Hate it. Yes, hate it. I don't like it. I hate it. So do I have five volunteers? I only have Iris Elena. I still need four more, four more volunteers. So you can give me your examples using Haiti. There we go. 
Okay, two volunteers. Three more, please. Three more volunteers. Miss, I have a question. Go, please. Tell me. Uh, how can I say comida, o mejor dicho, tiempo de comida, para no referirme específicamente a desayuno, almuerzo y cena? Okay. Meal. 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 Yes, comida. So meal, it can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Meal. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, Iris, go with your example, please. I want to listen to you. Okay, I don't like to do dishes, dishes after every meal. I hate it. Okay, excellent. Very like, I like it. Aleli. I don't like to stand in line bank. I'm eating it. Okay, I hate it. Very good job. I hate it. I okay. hate it. Jose, give me your example, please. Sorry, I have problems with audio. Permit me. Don't worry. Okay. Please. Okay, I have to. Oh, okay, okay, go. I have to. I have to do laundry. I hate it. Uh, wash to with hands. Oh, okay. You understand? <laughs> because you only, don't have only, a you don't have a washing machine. machine exactly. Only in washing. So, only machine. washing machine. Very yes. Good. Excellent. I really like it. Uh, Walter, give me your example, please. I have to travel to work every day, and I really hate it. Really, really hate it. I need a motorcycle. Do you travel by bus? Yes, I am. Yes, right. So, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I yes, do. Yes, I do. Exactly. Because my question is, do you travel by bus? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, yes, you need to get a motorcycle or even better, a car. Okay. That's it. Great example. Fernando, go, please. I have to do work on Sunday. I hire it. Wow, I really like your example. I feel it. Siento ese, ese, ese ejemplo. So yeah. I hate it as well. I hate it. Yes. Con confesso, I hate it. I hate it, exactly. <laughs> Marina, give me your response. Excellent, Fernando. I have to fold the clothes after washing. I hate it. Okay, I have to fold. Do you know what is the meaning of that? Fold the clothes. Fold the clothes. What is that? Clase? Doblar la ropa. Doblar la ropa. Exactly. I don't like it as well, Marina. I don't. You know, I really like to wash, you know, to do the cleaning. I even prefer that. But folding clothes, it is very hard. So great examples. Uh, let me ask Jessica. Give me your example, please. Jessica. Jessica? What is your example? Su ejemplo, Jessica. Jessica Marilu, or what Jessica teacher? Do I have two Jessicas? Yes. Yes. What is the other one? So, yes, it's you, Jessica Marilu. <laughs> okay. <Wow. laughs> I have I have to do homework every weekend. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, you don't like to do homework, right? The English class homework or any other type of homework? University teacher. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Not the English class, okay. Excellent. No. No, right? I love doing my English homework. Yes, right? Yes, okay, thank you so much. So, how is this topic? Is it clear the topic? How do we express things that we don't like to do? Is it clear? Or how do you feel expressing things that you really hate? Is it easy for you? Is it difficult? 
It's easy. It's easy, it's easy right? It's easy for me as well, right? So, yeah, we need to practice. No que nos vamos a quejar siempre y que odiemos todo, no. But this is just a practice, okay? This is just a practice. So, if you notice, and if we go to the platform, the topics that we have, you know, are about the past. We are going to start using the past. No more simple present tense or present continuous, adverbs of frequency. Now, look at this one. Now we are going to have fun together with verbs in past. You know? Why? Because how are you going to know or distinguish the person past? This is just by memory. There is no other way. You need to memorize the rules and the verbs, mostly the irregular verbs. So let's start or at least to give the introduction to this topic today. Take a look at this one, irregular and regular verbs. For this class, we are going to have the short introduction about regular verbs. Cuando decimos regular verbs, ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces, class, entre regular and irregular verbs in English? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? Uh -huh. Between regular and irregular verbs with simple past. What is the difference? Any idea? Miss, los verbos regulares no son aquellos que al cambiar el tiempo solamente cambia el, el final de, de la palabra. Por ejemplo, el ing o el ed. Okay, but in this case, we're talking about simple past in el pasado. Yes, but you have an idea. Excellent, excellent. But how about the simple past? Okay, don't worry. Maybe after watching the video, you're going to have a clear idea. Let's take a look at the video. And only the examples. If not, we are going to take a lot of time watching the video. Here we go with the introduction. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. Nope. Here we go. From the Hi beginning. everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past okay. using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Right. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Okay, we are going not to listen to the conversation so we can move on to the examples. I motivate you to go and watch the full video so you can listen to the conversation. Or we can also have the conversation at the end of the practice. Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised. Roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, here we go. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. Okay. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Okay. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Exercised. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. 
Shopped. S H O P P E D. Great. So let's stop here. If you could notice, what is the difference between regular and irregular verbs? This is the difference. When we have irregular verbs, bueno, no, empecemos con los regulares. We are just going to have an ending, three different endings. Aquí está el ejemplo. Three different spelling rules. Let me show you the rule. Wait. ED, que termina en ED. Vaya, ahorita se los muestro. Tengo una imagen de ellos. ED y los otros se terminan con ING. No, not really. It's not ING. No. Ok. ED, D. Aquí estamos. Pueden terminar con ED. Or D. Aquí está la regla. Miren. Y hay otra regla. Veamos acá. Number one. When we have verbs, when we have verbs, for example, visit and love, these are verbs in the base form. We call them base form or in present. Let's call it like this one. So when we have an infinitive, verb, we are going to add ed or in the case that the verb finished with this vowel, we are just going to add d. Mm -hmm. Visit, visit it. Love, loved. If we have the verb in infinitive, but this verb finished with Y, what are we going to use? Consonant and Y, consonant and Y. We are going to add ED at the end. How about if we have a verb that finished with the other way? Consonant and vowel. We are going to replace Y for I E D. This is the switching letter. Dos ejemplos: consonante más Y y vocal más Y. Aquí están. These are the examples. If we have one syllable. Verb, verbos que se pronuncian en una sílaba. Ok, con la estructura. Vowel and consonant. ¿Cómo terminan mis verbos? Con vowel and consonant. Look. Vocal, consonante. Vocal, consonante. What am I going to do? I'm going to double the Consonant, si termina en esa estructura, tres reglas. Si se pronuncia en una sola sílaba, segunda regla. Si termina en consonante, en, perdón, vocal, consonante, ¿qué hago? Doblo la última o repito la última consonante en I'm going to add ed. Stop. Stop. But, but. So that is the rule. And the last one, if I have two syllable verbs with a stress on the second syllable. Aquí está un poquito más largo. Si tengo verbos que se pronuncian en dos sílabas, permit, commit. Primera regla, check it. Se pronuncian con la segunda sílaba. Tiene el mayor fuerza de voz. Permit. 
commit. Si se fijan, la segunda sílaba es la mayor fuerza de voz. Segunda regla, checked. Y terminan con una single consonant. Terminan con consonante. In this case, it's letter T. In both examples. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to double the last consonant. And I'm going to add ED. Maybe this can be a little bit confusing, but I promise you that we are going to take more time so we can practice about this one. How many rules do we have or spelling rules? Five different spelling rules. And wait, these are only spelling rules. How are we going to write the verb? This is the first rule because we need to learn how to pronounce as well. So, son dos, por eso los verbos regulares son más difíciles que los irregulares. Why? Because I need to learn how to write the verbs and how to pronounce the ending of the verb. So, let me take just one minute. So, tomo un minuto para concluir con este ejercicio. Here we go. Let's look at these examples. I'm going to send you a list of verbs so you can take a look at the examples and we can start practicing. This is the last example for today, I promise. Look at this one. We have, in this case, some examples using the rules. We have ending with ed, ending with i, ed, and only d. Esas son las tres reglas que vamos a revisar el lunes. Ed, i, ed, and d. Okay. So, questions about the simple past. Como la introducción del simple past. Is it difficult? What do you think? Yes, Fernando. Eh, fíjese de que yo llegué un poco tarde, tarde ahora. No sé si mm -hmm. me podría tomar la asistencia. Ah, okay. Yes, of course. Don't worry. Alguien más? Any other question yes. or anything that you want to express? No? No sé, Pichar, si a mí me escuchó. Fernando and who else? ¿Quién más era? Gladys. Gladys, ahorita chequeo. Si no, chicos, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining this Friday. Ya puse la asistencia, Gladys and, and Fernando. Okay? Thank you. And please have a great weekend. Okay, enjoy your weekend. And we are going to meet on Monday. Okay? See you, class. Thank you so much. Okay. It was a Good bye night. bye. Good night to you. Good night, teacher. Good night to you. Bye bye. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. Good night, bye. teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. I disculpe que no las había escuchado. <laughs>